Hello everybody, this is Sor here and I was uh, browsing through YouTube for a decent review of an uh, Android 4.2.1 ROM for the Galaxy Mini and I was unable to find one because there is not any uh, decent review on YouTube so I decided I would make one and see uh, and show you guys uh, what are the benefits of this ROM and its flows and I'm sure you'll love it, it's an amazing ROM okay first of all let's go to the lock screen as you can see it has the new Android 4.2 uh, Jelly Bean lock screen with the new font and uh, the lock screen widgets uh, which are a bit uh, tough to access I don't know why and uh, as soon as uh, it goes away you can't access them anymore I don't know why is that and there's also a quick uh, camera access from here excuse me because I can't really reach it uh, it's from the side okay so there's the camera right there it should start Ah, oh, you have to touch okay there's a camera right there. It's amazing. It works perfectly fine. It's perfect. And I'm just going to show, show you that it really is like the Android 4.2. Excuse me if you see the reflection of the camera in there. As you can see, there are the standard settings you find in a 4.2 camera. And uh, I think zooming is with the volume marker. Oh no, I don't know. Maybe there's not no zooming. Okay, and uh, let me show you that it can take uh, pictures. There's you can't disable the shutter sound though, and it's a very annoying sound, but you can also which is amazing about this room you can also record videos excuse me I'm holding it with one hand as you can see you can record videos and that's uh, really great okay now with one swipe from the right to left you can reach the gallery and see what you just uh, recorded but what's good about this is that if you swipe it down you delete it and you have an undo option here okay just like that okay uh, moving on let's go to the home screen as you can see there are the new uh, Android 4.2 widgets here and what I've noticed right from the start is that this ROM is really butter smooth. It's really smooth. The performance of the phone has really increased after I installed this ROM and everything is amazing. There's also a lot of customization that I liked uh, that you can do with this ROM and I really liked it. That And uh, if you can see when I scroll through the uh, yeah when I scroll through the pages you can see the grid of the page that's an option you can enable or disable it and a lot of other stuff um, you can uh, change the amount of horizontal and vertical uh, rows uh, you know and uh, there's a lot of customization you can do then you can also customize the notification bar I put these toggles here and you can put any any toggle you want basically and let's go to the quick settings of 4.2 this is a feature I'm uh, very sure you are interested in you can customize these, add or remove uh, things and they are all working let's just confirm that it's uh, Jelly Bean 4.2 as you can see 4.2.1 Jelly Bean 4.2.1 okay and there it is 
Um, okay. Um, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything works as you can see. You can also customize. I uh, just accidentally clicked it. You can also customize the hardware keys, what they're gonna do, and I put my menu key to recent apps and hold down the home button to open the menu. Okay. Um, it has pretty much what the standard 4.2 phone has. Oh, I forgot to mention you can access, uh, you can resize and uh, put uh, everything just you just how you can in a standard 4.2. And you can access the quick settings menu from dragging from the right uh, side. Uh, there's an option for that. You can do it from the left, you can put it to off. Okay. So um, I'm gonna show you uh, the score my phone scored in an Antutu benchmark last night and I was really impressed because with a Cyanogen Mod 9 ROM I could only get uh, 1800 but this one goes up to 4100 it's amazing I don't know how it does it but it's really good um, uh, oh yeah other things you might want to know is that um, uh, high quality videos let me show you that the Wi-Fi works high quality videos uh, are playable and they do not uh, crash like they would in a lot of ROMs and I don't have a good Wi-Fi reception here but maybe I'll be able to um, show you guys what I mean it's also the reflection of the of the screen because there's a lot of light <laughs> right here okay now uh, And I have a bad well high signal right here. That was a problem with that. Um, okay, uh, anyway. You're gonna have to trust me on that one. It works and everything works as well. I've tried another 4.2.1 uh, ROM, but uh, what wouldn't work, uh, I wouldn't get any notifications up here. When I was here, I couldn't click that. Um, the home button wasn't working, but in this ROM, everything is working. Uh, alarms, uh, messages, uh, GPS, everything is working. It's an absolutely stable ROM, and it makes your uh, phone run uh, like new it's just simply amazing I, I love the support the developers have um, uh, give for this phone because uh, it's one and a half uh, years old and it was a really cheap phone but the developers keep supporting it so that's uh, amazing uh, anyway that's about it guys I have nothing else to show you I hope you enjoyed um, I will put uh, the download link of everything you need, including the camera patch below. And also, uh, to reduce the lag, I am using a, an application called Cedar. Uh, you have to be ready to access that, but if, if you are planning to install this ROM on your phone, you will have to be ready. Okay, what it does, uh, it uh, makes your phone uh, not read um, uh, random data that doesn't need uh, from anywhere on the phone we, uh, and it reduces the lag from about everything scrolling through the screens accessing the menu opening applications uh, it's just um, very nice amazing uh, makes your phone a lot smoother okay um, uh, the download links will be in the description if you like this video please click uh, like leave a comment in 
of any questions you have, and that's about it. Bye, guys.